hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how i make my resin refrigerator magnets So the first part is pretty self-explanatory. I'm separating all of my colors and I'm adding in the resin so that I'm prepared beforehand in order to do this pour since it takes quite some time to fill up every single cavity. So yeah, I just wanna say that you should pre-mix everything and have it ready before you actually pour. So for smaller molds like this, the ones that are more compact, I suggest using 91% isopropyl alcohol to just spray in the cavity before you actually pour the resin. This will reduce the amount of bubbles that you get so that you don't have to use a heat gun on such small molds. So for my uppercase letters, I always put my magnets down first. They do not move for the most part, um, but if they do move, it's because they're attracting to each other but they still stick to anything that's metal. So for my lowercase letters, I wanted to make it alcohol ink designed with the same colors, obviously, but it did not turn out how I thought. The resin had started to set, and so it was a bit thicker 
Um, and so the alcohol inks did not drop, unfortunately, but I still kept them the way they came out. So remember how I said the magnets will sometimes move? Well, these decided to move uh, closer together, but they still stick to the fridge, which is good, and I didn't have to remake that one. But the rest of them came out perfectly fine. Some of them did not have resin filled all the way to the top, and so it ended up having a small lip, but that's fine. They still look great, and they're still functional. So now for the lowercase letters, um, you will kind of see my uh, disappointment when I take these out and kind of my confusion at the same time. Um, they do not look at all like what I thought they would look like and I'm actually fumbling everything everywhere. You can see that these are tiny, tiny, tiny micro bubbles, but they kind of look like glitter. So I decided in my best interest to keep them the way they are instead of trying to redo this entire piece because then I would have to figure out what I was going to do with the rest of these letters so I decided to keep them and then after this I applied two magnets per letter using E6000 glue.
So these magnets that I get from Amazon are actually very strong. They're only four millimeters, which means they're very tiny, but I will leave the link in the description so that you can purchase these if you would like.